Okay, John Hammond here from johnhammondonline.com and before we go into anything about how to get your videos found on YouTube or within Google, we need to first of all think about what somebody is going to type into Google in order to find your video. So it all comes back to keyword research and everything about the internet is it really is as simple as that. So here we are, I've put in here to Google, into Google, um, AdWords keyword tool, right? This is a great, great tool with a lot of th great things about it. Click in here, AdWords, Google.co.uk, select keyword tool external, click into that, and this gives you a great opportunity to find keywords that are being searched for video as well, or the, how you're actually going to title your videos. You'll see this as we go along. Right, if I put in here, for instance, let's say I'm looking for um, a Spanish apartment. apartment to rent for the summer. Oh I hate these things that type in the capture here. Is that a V or a U? We'll go V. I think that's going to be wrong, but we'll do it again in a minute. I mean this okay. Oh I got it right. Blimey that was amazing. So I'm looking for a Spanish apartment to rent. Now here you can see straight away that if I put Spanish apartment to rent this would be a great key phrase to use because my global searches there's a hundred and ten each month and there's 36 sort of uh, monthly searches but the beauty of that is it's very low so the chances are under that keyword phrase I could get my video onto page one of Google under this term Spanish apartment to rent very very interesting so what I would do I'll copy that so we'll copy that uh, we'll get a little notepad going and I'll place that in my notepad okay so I know I've got a good chance with that key phrase there but let's look at some others as we scroll down here uh, if you click on the top here if you've never seen this before global monthly searches click on that and it puts it in numerical order so there are if we look here globally 20 million people per month are putting the term villa into the Google search term but let's come down we're not really interested in that because I want to go that's quite a big um, key phrase and there'll be a lot of competition under that so let's go down here and have a look and let's go on to page two as well right so these are all titles that I could possibly title my video as because essentially um, this is what I'm going to put as a title on my video so that it gets found because these are key phrases that people are typing into Google. Let's choose another one. So if we get Spanish apartment to rent, even though we found a good keyword there, let's come down here and instead of apartment, let's put in something that's a really long tail key for it. Let's put in Spanish, I know, apartment to rent in Mercia. So this is a really good long tail keyword. We've got five words there. One, two, three, four, five, six actually. Mass was never my strong point. Um, and there you can see here, there's nobody really using that at the moment. But the great thing is here, we get a lot of additional keywords we can look at. And what you want to do is come down to maybe the smaller ones. So here, you scroll down again. Let's say here, Mercy of Villa Rentals. Now, I'd copy that because there we've got 260 people looking per month uh, globally 140 within our local search within our language that's brilliant so we could use that one in fact we could actually use all of these key phrases here very very simply so what I could do with all of these and this is where it comes down to time sometimes what I could actually do is click on all of these and use all of these Okay, so if I click them all, I could then essentially download the file. So I could go up here to download, and I could download the selected keywords, and I'd have all those keywords, yeah, in an Excel document. So I could use all of these key phrases and get my video, possibly because of the search terms here, depending on the competition, on page one of Google. But we're looking very briefly at keyword research here to title our videos with that's one way another fabulous way which are not a lot of people know about but a silver black there is if we come along here you see here on Google where we've got more click on more and down the side here we're gonna look for the wonder wheel the Google wonder wheel now if I click on that this is fabulous because 
or for add words, keywords. And let's take that. Let's put again here Spanish apartments to rent. Spanish apartments to rent in Mercia. Now, look at this. That's better. Here we've got the key key phrase here, the central key phrase, and Google then starts to give us alternatives here. So we've got Spanish apartments to rent in Alicante, which is nearby. Spanish apartments to rent in Mercia, Spain. That's an additional key phrase. So if we click into that, again, the wonder wheel cl clicks into play, and now we've got even more key phrases here. Spanish apartments to rent in Mercia Airport. I don't think they mean in the airport. I think they mean near to the airport. Um, but French apartment to rent in Mercia, Spain. Does that mean French owners? Possibly. Spanish apartments to rent in Tenerife. Well, let's go this one about the airport. And again, the Wonder Wheel gives us more key phrases. So it branches off into a different genre. Here we go. English apartments to rent in Mercia, meaning near the airport. Interesting key phrase. German apartments to rent. So people looking for apartments owned by different nationalities. Very interesting. Spanish apartments to rent in Ryanair. Not sure what that is, but that must be near to where Ryanair flies to, possibly. So you can see how Google has linked in. Now, if we chose another key phrase here, let's go for a simple one, weight loss. Okay, want to lose weight, weight loss. And we hit that. And let's see what Google comes up with. Right, we've got weight loss. Now this then links into weight loss tips. So let's go to weight loss tips. Can you see how Google now gives us many, many key phrases of, that we can utilize to get our videos found and to get them onto page one of Google? So we've got weight loss tips now. Lose weight fast, we can go into that one. And again, we'll get variances of key phrases as well. So what we've shown here is two fantastic tools to find key phrases. And, and really, we're going to go do this video in two parts. We'll go on to the second part in a little while. But keyword research is so so important for getting your videos found so before you even think about putting up a video you've got to think how people will find it and again we can go and again lose weight fast for men so we, if we're targeting men we can go into that, that for men again but you can see how Google here links in via the Wonder Wheel and we can click on any of these again and bring them out okay so loads of different key phrases. So the Google Wonder Wheel is a brilliant tool for keyword research, as is the uh, Google Keyword Tool external as well. So thinking about that, think about what your video is going to be about, and now start trying to get into the mindset of people who will actually be putting that search term into Google before they hit the search button. What would they be thinking? What would they be searching for? If it's weight loss, will it be lose weight quickly? It could will it be lose weight within two weeks, lose weight for my wedding, um, lose weight quickly, um, lose weight in six months. I don't know, just ideas I'm coming up with. Lose weight for my holiday. All these key phrases you can explore and decide whether it's worth titling and putting up a video about for them. But you're going to obviously think about your own video and what you're going to title with. But keyword research, I cannot stress it enough how important keyword research is for your video. Because before you even start making your video, you've got to think how you're going to get that video found on Google via the Google search engine and on Yahoo and all the other video sites out there. They are all based on key phrases. Okay, so hopefully that's been very, very useful. This is the first thing you should do all the time. More tips coming up though, and we'll also get into showing you how to title the videos and set them up properly. But for now, take care, goodbye. I hope that was handy. Don't forget the Google Keyword Tool External, and also, of course, the Google Wonder Wheel. Very, very important in the aid of your keyword research.